Good evening, everybody. I hope you had a good evening this evening and had a good weekend, a good restful, relaxing weekend this weekend. Um, I'd like to share something with you tonight. Um, I'm going to conclude what we've been studying on about living in the last days, what Mark says about living in the last days. Then we'll go on to the Great Tribulation from what Mark says. But I have to do a little bit more study on that. But I'm in the process of doing that. But tonight, I'd like to finish by reading Mark chapter 13, verse, starting at verse 12. It says, now, brothers, now brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Wow. What an amazing end of the last days. Of the end of the times. That we've learned so far. From Mark chapter 13. Verses 1 through 13, these last few weeks. And it says, Now brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. Wow. Wow. Jesus said even his own family will be difficult to reach because they know what kind of person that that person used to be before they accepted Jesus in their lives. So when they try to reach out to tell their family about Jesus, it's going to be difficult. They're going to have a hard time believing in even in the day and age that we're living in today, we just watch a news media, and on the news media, there's where a brother killed his baby sister, or some school shooting, or something to that effect. So even today in this own country, we see this happening. Children are against authority, against the authority figure. Children are against their parents. And even in countries around the world, if a child comes to know his Lord Jesus and his family doesn't know Lord Jesus, guess what's going to happen to that child? That child is going to get persecuted. In, country, in some countries around this world, I have read in Voice of the Martyrs where this actually has happened to children that came, teenagers that came, young adults, teenagers, young adults that came to know Jesus. Their families didn't know Jesus, didn't like the idea that they came to know Jesus, so they kicked them out of the house to live on the streets or they beat them and stuff like that because they because of their faith in Jesus mm. so that's going on today but the good news is and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. For Jesus, Jesus said, for my name's sake, you will get, you'll get hated by, by all nations for his name's sake. Everybody's going to hate you. All that we've learned from verse chapter 13, 1 through 13, is because people don't know Jesus. People don't want to know Jesus. People don't want to know that they can be saved because they are only living for one person themselves. 
that, and they're under the influence of our enemy. They're blinded by our enemy. Spiritually, maybe not physically blinded, but they're blind, spiritually blinded by the enemy. So they can't receive that salvation. Can that veil be removed? Most definitely. Yes, it's through belief in Jesus Christ that that veil, that veil on their heart can be removed. But through it all, here's the promise Jesus left said. But be... But he who endures to the end shall be saved. All that we learned about from verse one, from verse one all the way to verse thirteen tonight. Those who endure all of that in these last days. The last days aren't going to be easy. But Jesus is coming back. And he's not just going to appear and say, here I am. He's going to appear and take, this blessed, take his blessed church, his bride that he has died for on the cross. Whether we're in the grave or we're still alive when he comes, he's going to take his church. So whether we're dead or alive, we're still in Christ Jesus. So Mark records Jesus saying, But he who endures till the end shall be saved. That word endure means to go through. You endure it. You go through it. You don't try to get out of it. You endure it. You go through it. Then you shall be saved. Have a blessed night. And remember, to die is to gain. To live is for Christ Jesus. Have a blessed week.